HookahPro.com, your ultimate source for everything hookah. Find the latest tips and tricks, videos, reviews. Know what they hate for, I'm just making my paper. Well, maybe they'll love me more when I'm gone. I don't want to leave, but I need to. It's such a shame. Hey, what's going on? It's BTB and Mordecai from LucalPro.com with a shisha review for you guys. I'm doing a tobacco I picked up in a local shop yesterday, and that tobacco is <coughs> Awaha Mint. Um, I'm on the quest to find the perfect mint, and I figured I might as well try Awaha as well. I've tried a crap load of other ones, just about almost all of them. Probably not, but I figured I'd try it out because Awaha never really ceases to amaze me with some of their flavors, really. Here's the cut. It's um a lot wetter than most um, Awaha flavors are, actually. This was actually pretty drippy. It was drippy enough to put it in my funnel bowl. So, there it is. It's not dyed brown, or it is dyed brown, not dyed at all. Um, <coughs> quite wet <coughs> smell. I pretty much get a mint leaf smell with this, like a pure mint leaf. I get some of the nose tickle with it, and it smells really, really pleasant. It's a nice cooling feeling. Nice. Um, so I'll get this bowl started up and I'll be back in a couple of minutes and show you how it smokes. Okay. Hey guys, I'm back with my um, Awaha Mint review. Right there. Got it loaded up in a funnel bowl. Three canar coals. My mint new hose. This is designated mint because I don't want it that way. Um, Regular setup, you already know what it is. So, I've been going five minutes now, so I'll show you how it works. Right off the bat, since this was a wetter tobacco than other Awahas I've had, it did pick up very fast with cloud production, and it's probably going to get really in clouds because it isn't a funnel bowl. Um, you can see there's like a whole packet of juice in the bottom there. It's it's the wettest Awaha I've seen so far. Um, I did watermelon my last review and it was medium wetness to dry, but this stuff is really really wet. All right, so right off the bat, I'm getting a minty cooling sensation. It's nothing like crazy, like a miso mint or a Fumari mint chocolate chill type of vert chill, but it's very pleasant. It's not overpowering, it won't make you cough, it's not bad at all. And the taste of this mint is actually kind of sweet. It's like a sweet mint um, gum that you might buy somewhere. It's very, very sweet. It didn't really smell sweet in the in the tobacco pack. Wow, in the bag, but it is very, very sweet tasting. It's not a bad sweet either. It's not overpowering. It's not too sweet. It's just like a perfect amount. And with the mint cooling sensation, it's really, really quite pleasant actually. Mm, yeah. Very, very sweet. Well, not very sweet, but sweet flavor and also very minty flavor. Um, for this, I'm going to give it a, an 8 out of 10. It's actually a really, really good tobacco for being Awaha. I know most people don't um, consider Awaha to be the highest brand <coughs> of tobacco out there, but this stuff is actually kind of good. It's really surprising me. Tried lemon with mint from Awaha a while back. Can't really remember how that was, but 
I know that it was pretty minty and it was very good, but this stuff is the bomb. It's it's not like on the scale of miso mint or anything like that, but it is a very nice flavor. I highly recommend you pick it up. So, I'm really glad I did. Um, Awaha is super, super cheap, and you can find it about anywhere. So, oh, okay. Yeah. And if you're ever in the State College area, Pennsylvania, it's in the middle of the state, check out um, the head shop Grasshoppers. They sell Alfacher, Kukaduka, Awaha, Havana, Starbuzz. It's a really good shop, and this is definitely a good pickup. So, Awaha Mint gets an 8 out of 10. It's really, really good. I highly recommend you pick it up. Really important. And this is BTB Mordecai from GoodPro.com, your ultimate source for everything you've got.